Hey, I'm Danny Powers with A Game Performance, and this is my three-year-old Oakley. Today, I wanted to talk about uh, drilling versus training. I'm going to discuss a lot of the differences in this blog that this video is attached to, but a couple of the drills that I mentioned, I wanted to actually show you what I was talking about. Um, I'm a big believer in horses learn from success and then and reward, and sometimes that reward is releasing what you're doing. So I don't do a lot of drilling. When they learn something, I tend to move on. When I do need to keep them conditioned in certain areas, that's when I'll add some drills. But um, these are a couple of drills that I use in order to either get their mind or to wake their body up. And uh, first it's the box drill, and then the two barrel drill that's listed. Lunging is a great one, just keep them, when you know how to work them on the ground, it's gonna open up a lot of opportunities later on when you're hauling in case you get in a situation, if you need to place them in any direction or any area that you like and they know how to lunge, it's gonna be a lot easier and safer for you. Um, the next one's rollbacks. Those can go hand in hand with training and drilling. And um, if done correctly, can be really beneficial to your program. If done wrong, can actually hurt your turns. So the first one, I haven't really worked with, I've actually never done this drill with her yet, the box drill. This is good when you have a really hot horse and you want to get their mind or just kind of wake one up when we're at a race and I want to, if I'm jump jockeying one and they don't know how I stop and turn and use my hips, then I'll definitely use this drill. So how you do it, I'm going to walk out here so you see more of her, her full body. I place her in a small uh, square. big of a square it's just you make it a little little box just so they um, get really used to your core and what, what direction you want them to go in and it really gets a hold of their mind because it's a lot of stop start stop start um, the two barrel drill I do is the when I teach barrels I teach them that it's a game like the overall pattern is the end goal uh, so you're getting through a pattern and they look for the next turn so I use two barrels as encouraging them to go straight and look for the next turn to help them finish the turn rather than just circling the barrels. So um, normally I don't do this once I start them on the pattern and I started trotting her so I'm gonna go the other direction because I'm starting her left-handed. So normally you can find a lot of trainers doing it. So I'll put my inside leg up into her shoulder and push forward while my outside leg is a little bit behind, kind of back by my back stitch. I'm pushing forward and then I'm going to switch my legs and then I'll push them forward and release. So you encourage her to go this way.
go in the same direction and then move forward. I don't want her diving in or turn. I want her to stay real straight and upright. But those are just rules you can use to um, sharpen the handle that you have or to wake them up, get their mind. <laughs> 